This video shows how to create a discussion board in a Blackboard class. You can create a discussion board either from a content area or from the discussion boards area. Uh, in Blackboard language, a discussion board is considered a tool. So if you're in a content area with edit mode on, you see the build content assessment tool submenus. If you want to create a discussion board, go to tools and select discussion board. Blackboard is spinning. Okay, then, so we're going to create a link to a discussion board. Blackboard prompts you, do you want to link the discussion board to the discussion board's page? In Blackboard, all of the discussion boards technically live together on the discussion board's page. So you're being prompted, do I want to link to that page or do I want to link to a specific discussion board? So let me choose that option. And then I'm prompted, do I want to link to one of the two existing discussion boards or create a new one from scratch? And in this video, I will show the example to create a new one from scratch. So I click the button. We're waiting. We're waiting. And there we go. So I will name it. new discussion board. I could give it a description that would appear underneath the link. I could can set the availability options. And then I've got my forum settings. These are specific to discussion boards. Do I want my participants to view threads in the standard view? Or do I want them to force them to create a new thread in order to see what their classmates have written? Standard, they can just see anything from the get-go. Do I want this to be graded? If so, it'll create. If I do, it will create a column in the Blackboard Grade Center. So I want to align this to course content. We don't use the the like the program of studies alignments in Blackboard all that much, but I do. But we do use the subscribe options. So do I want to forbid students from subscribing? Remember when you subscribe to a forum, anytime there's a post or reply, that'll generate an email. So you don't always have to, have to keep coming to see if there's new content. So you can lock that down and not allow students to subscribe. You can allow students to subscribe to threads, or you can allow students to subscribe to the entire forum. I generally, when I turn this on, I allow members to subscribe to the forum and I include a link to the post. So that alerts the user that there's a new post. They click the link, they are, they are brought to Blackboard, prompted to log in, and then taken directly to the, to the thread create and edit. I generally with students do not allow anonymous posts and you may or may not uh, allow author to delete their own posts. If you do allow them to delete their own everything or only posts that have no replies. So if somebody's replied to something they've posted I generally do not let them delete something that have replies. You may or may not allow the author to edit their own published post you may or may not allow members to create their own threads. In this example course, the forum introduce yourself was unchecked. You could only reply to threads I've made, and the thread was the session date and time. Whereas in the discussion board questions for Rick, anyone can post a new thread. Allow or deny file attachments, allow or deny reply with quote, force moderation. So if you want to have your students submit the replies but have not have it show up for the rest of the class until you read it and then turn it on, you could force moderation. And then some additional options allow post tagging, allow members to rate posts, and then submit. And so we're linking to a discussion board forum discussion board we just made and click next and then in your content area there's my link I could describe description make the link available yes no display after or until a certain time submit and then there is a link and I could rearrange this by dragging upward by dragging to where I wanted to, to appear in the page. 
and then when the student clicks the link, they're taken to the new discussion board that right now has no threads in it. And as I mentioned earlier in the video, all discussion boards live in the discussion boards area. So we have introduce yourself, questions for Rick, and this one I just made, new discussion board. If you wanted to edit any of the settings you saw me go through, just come here with edit mode on, edit. And then you can go through all the settings we went through. Cancel that. I could have just as easily started here in the discussion board area with create forum, done all the settings, and then in my content area, add a link to the discussion board and select an existing one and done it that way. So that's a little bit on creating a brand new discussion board from scratch and setting the discussion board settings.